Hi everyone, a lot of you have asked me to do some videos about market failure and how it differs from AS level and what's required at A2. The key difference between A2 and AS market failure is the notion of environmental market failure, so a specific type of market failure. And within environmental market failure, there are three main things you need to know that cause it. First one is resource depletion, second one is resource degradation, and the third is the public, public good aspect of environmental uh, resources, especially clean air as a public good. All right. So let's just go through each one of these quickly. So resource depletion is when we use up a stock of natural resources that is there in the world. Okay. So fossil fuels and oils, for example, using up resources we have of these uh, faster than they actually come back to us is depleting on resources. Doing so is a negative externality. Okay. And often using them up creates negative externalities. The second one is resource degradation, and that's simply using up resources, and by doing so, making them less productive than they were before. So for example, by fishing or farming, um, that might potentially pollute a river or a lake by doing so. If that occurs, well then the river is less productive than it was before, by polluting the, the water. And that's an example of degrading a resource. That's also considered a negative externality. Okay, so making a resource less productive than it was before. But also there are several aspects in the environment that are considered to be a public good. And notably, clean air is, is that kind of thing. Alright, so what is a public good? So remember, a public good is both non-excludable and, crucially, and it needs to be both non-diminishable. So a public good has got both of these characteristics, and clean air is an example of a public good. It's non-excludable, meaning a price can't be charged for it. We can't exclude people from using clean air by putting a price on it, because we can't confine the use of clean air just to people that have paid for it. You just can't confine it. So it's non-excludable. It's also non-diminishable, because one person using clean air doesn't diminish the supply of clean air to somebody else. So both of these characteristics imply that no one's going to bear the cost of cleaning up air because they can't, the benefit of cleaning up the air can't be confined to the person that's actually trying to clean up the air. As a result, no one cleans up the air, there's no market for clean air at all, and then there's a case for government intervention. Okay? So that is the three things that are very important for us to recognise with market failure and the difference between A2 market failure and AS market failure. Another important thing, just to remember from last year, is the diagram for negative externality. So bear in mind we've talked a lot about negative externalities. We need to be comfortable just drawing that diagram again. Okay, so let's go through that. So, what is the diagram for negative externalities? No different from AS at all. Okay, so we'll have our two axes as normal. Okay, and on the y axis we'll have price, costs, and benefits. And on the x axis we'll just have quantity. So, for a negative externality, we're assuming no positive externalities. So we can have our marginal social benefit curve is equal to our marginal private benefits. So assuming no positive externalities there. Okay, we also have our, let's call that marginal private cost curve. But because we have got negative externalities occurring, there's a discrepancy between our marginal private cost okay, and our marginal social cost. Okay, so remember the equation, I'll write this down below. The equation for for marginal social cost. Okay, so marginal social cost is equal to the marginal private cost plus the marginal external cost, and that's the key thing. We're including the external cost all of a sudden. All right. So that's what we have there, and as a result, um, the market produces here at point Q, and prices at point P, where society would prefer resources to be allocated at Q star for this, uh, for this good and for the good to be priced at P star. Okay, 
So the negative externality is a vertical distance between the marginal private cost curve and the marginal social cost curve. And we can show, by pricing up here, by putting the line up here, the worth of loss as a result. So, by overproducing, overallocating resources, that's the extra cost to society going up to the marginal social cost curve. And that total area, okay, whereby we're producing extra goods, is the welfare loss. So that entire triangle there is the loss to society by allocating resources more than what society wants. So that's the negative externality there. And that vertical distance is the negative externality. Okay, so that's just the basics to environmental market failure. Uh, the key things were on the previous uh, board that you needed to realise. The fact that resource depletion and resource degradation are both negative externalities. Therefore, there's rationale for government intervention.